Hey everybody. So I got recently a disk drive from my Adam and I'll put pictures of what it looked like. It got destroyed. So I'm going to try to put this back together. I have been told that you can use 100% acetone to weld plastic back together. So I'm going to try that before I try Gorilla Glue. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take the biggest pieces I have here first. Put a little bit of the acetone on here, get it nice and... I don't know how much of it you need, but I'm going to wet it down pretty good. I'm going to take this piece and see if it actually does, in fact... Well, how? <laughs> it does work! Well, shit, I'm going to make sure I get some on you. That worked! Well, let's just spray a little bit more on here. It's along the edge. Just along that seam there. That works! Oh my god! Oh my god, it does actually work! Ooh! It was sweet! Alright, so listen, I thought I was just going to be laugh this one off. Maybe I can fix it now. Let's get the next big piece. Which looks like it goes here. I may want to build this other oh, to make sure it doesn't stick. It, it, the plastic is a little wet there, so maybe I got to do something to stop from sticking. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'll just stand up there right now. So now let's see what we got here. This looks like this is going to be the corner over here. I want to make sure you guys see it. So that's the back. So where's going where? No. Okay, that goes there. Okay, we got that much of it. Okay, we know that goes there. Let's build that piece. I'm going to just put some acetone right into the cap. Just remember, it's not a shot glass. Don't start slurping it down. Now, this one goes, I just want to see it again. Right there. I don't know how much I got put in here, but it seems to be working pretty good so far. Now we'll take that. Right up. See how it pushes the plastic out? So obviously, yeah, it is doing something there. See that? Can you see what it did? Now I'm just taking this and I'm just like smoothing the crack right there. Yeah, supposedly what this does is it welds the plastic back together and if that's the case that's awesome much better than using super glue just might take a while to dry it seems and this piece is going to go here so yeah this piece is going to go right in here okay Let's do that. This is cool. I wonder what this would do with 3D printed stuff, will it? Glue 3D printed material together too? I'm curious about that. I'm going to have to check that out. So yeah, just put a little bit on there just to hold it together. I mean, this is never going to be perfect. We know it's never going to be perfect, but... Shit. As far as I can tell, I got all the pieces here. I might be able to put this all back together into one piece. This is cool. So let's see what else we got in here. Okay, this looks like that's going to go down there. So I'm going to set that one to the side for a second because I can't put this over yet. Any other small piece I can get to? Uh, this looks like this one goes right there, which it does. But I should try to get that piece first, which appears to be here. Yeah, that one goes right there. Right there. Okay, so let's get some acetone in here. Take this and it does try to stick to your fingers at the same time.
Well, hell. I should get the excess off just so it doesn't continuously melt the plastic. I don't want to sag on me. That'd be a, that'd be a good thing. And then this right here will be this piece right here, and that should hold both of them together. So let's get some of that on there. You hear weird sounds in the background. That's my 3D printer going. So every now and then it goes whoa. whoa. So if you hear that, it's that's all it is. It's not a dog or an animal being tortured. It's my 3D printer. So let's just see what I can do here. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, you can see the cracks, but I'm not too concerned about that, really. I do appear to be missing... Well, no, that's this piece here, okay. And then we got this piece. I do believe it's going to go over there on that side, okay. And then I'm hoping... It looks like I may have lost that piece right there somewhere. Not sure if that's what I got in my hand here or not. I try to salvage every piece that came out of the box, but I may have missed a crumb here and there. Or it could even have fallen out of the box when I opened it up. Alright, so the next piece is here. Yeah, I've never done this before, and this is actually working very nicely. It's not perfect, but it's much better than a bag of pieces of a bag full of pieces. I actually got something I might be able to use here now. It just it, it doesn't. I'm not going to. It's not going to get banged around. It's just going to be put back on the machine, and hopefully, it'll all be good. This one right here is going to go right here. I am very surprised at how well this works. I believe this little chunk is going to be right here. That little chunk goes right there. So let's just see. Can I get it to go in there? There's a little bit of acetone in the little hole there to soften things up. I'll take this and just see if I can slide it into the hole. Oh my god, look at that. This is this is freaking awesome. This is awesome. I'm getting a clean Q-tip just to clean off a little more. Wow, unbelievable! Again, it doesn't have to be fragile as friggin' um, eggshells, but it's, it's got some strength to it. It feels like. Now, again, I'm not sure about that one, but now I got these. Here, these are the standoffs that hold it in. It looks like I can just put them right on there. This shit beats the hell out of crazy glue. I 
I am missing a few pieces, but not many. Look at that, look at that. Will you just look at it and will you look at that? Again, it's not perfect, but you know what? <laughs> it's actually usable now. It actually can be used for its intended purpose. I still have this piece. I don't know where this one went. It might have been there. So the only piece I appear to be missing this right here I think goes down in here and I don't know if I'm going to get in there with my fingers. Let's just see if I can. Some acetate there. Or acetone I should say. Let's see if I can get down here with the tweezers. Just to support so it doesn't have to be perfect because we're not looking at it. We just It just supports everything. So once you put a little bit of acetone on there make it melt in place and let's sit that. Yeah, the only piece I appear to be missing yeah, I got no more in my bag is the little piece that goes right there and that sucks because I'd like to have that piece too. But you know what? I am... One second. Let's try something here. Here's the disk drive which I've had a part and used a couple times but let's just make sure yeah there's nothing in there I checked it really really good just on the off chance that there might have been a piece stuck in it but I don't see anything in there yeah it would have went right in this area too that's freaking darn good there all right so what did we learn today children We just learned that you can actually fix, ooh, there's some extra there. You can actually fix broken plastic with a 100% acetone, AKA nail polish remover. That's friggin' cool. Yeah, let's just cool off here. I'm not care, I don't care if it's shiny or anything like that. I just care that it's all in one piece. Sweet.